New body camera video shows a Titusville police officer just moments before he shot and killed a man he thought was a suspect. But it was actually the wrong guy, and the officer has been arrested. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi is live in Titusville tonight. So, Alina, you talked to both sides today, and what do they have to say? Yes, I did. And today, John and Lewin was the first day that the family saw the body camera footage. I actually got to speak with Lowry's sister. She tells us the video proves that her brother was unjustifiably killed. The family saw the body camera footage for the very first time today. Lowry's sister tells me she watched the video. She says it proves her brother was unjustifiably killed. Westbound, blackmail, black jacket, jeans. Titusville police were on the way to a report of domestic violence the day after Christmas last year. But that officer is chasing after the wrong man. Stop running. Stop reaching your pocket. These are the tense moments leading up to 40-year-old James Lowry getting shot in the back of the head. Body camera video released this morning shows Titusville police officer Joshua Payne get out of his car and chase Lowry, trying to stop him several times with a taser. Police say Lowry had drugs on him at the time. Get down! Get down! Go away! Get down! Lowry tried jumping over a fence. Payne followed, and that's when his gun went off. Shot fired! Shot fired! Hey, hey, listen, I need you to focus right now, okay, brother? Payne said it was an accident, but has been charged with manslaughter. When you are under extreme stress, how do you know what you're going to do? The chief says Payne should not have had his gun and taser out at the same time. If it's never happened before, you can train and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and then something happens and your body can do something else. Lowry's sister, Johari Brown, says the video proves her brother was wrongly killed. It's taken way too long for what we already knew. And while they fought to see this final piece of evidence, Brown says her brother's gone and he's not coming back. He had a big heart and he would do anything for anyone. And his sister says their family will only have justice once that cop is convicted and her brother's name has been cleared. In Titusville, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.